So we're standing outside of the Freedom School here at Heritage Village. Uh, today they are having a, a little festival and some live music and they have all of the exhibits open, which we've never been here when it was open. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna check out what they've got in there. Very neat old schoolhouse back in the day. All the little chalkboards. Teacher's desk. Dictionary, wow. And pen and quill and ink. Our little school bell. First readers. My grandfather used to buy those for me when I was a kid. And the school children in their uniforms. And pews. A lot of times they would use these for church. I think it's divide, honey. See the line with the two down. Yeah, I think it's divide. And the big old wood stove. Oh, they left this area so you could see what it looked like when it burned. And it's been restored, obviously. They left a little char piece there. Preserve history. Oh, look at that little sled. For recess time and a hula hoop. <laughs> President President Lincoln over there. And President Washington over there. Very cool. We don't have a whole lot of time that they're gonna have these open, so we're gonna head on down the row here. The nature center they have here changes every season. They put different items inside. And we'll peek in here, I guess, while we're walking by. nests and some animal skulls look like we have deer here oh they got teeth it's a fox skeleton it says that they are in the dog family I did not know that Mud wasp nest. Ooh, there's some more over here. That's what they look like on the inside. We'll follow Maddie. We'll go over here to the quarantine house. I think they called it the pest house. This is where you were quarantined during the times of smallpox. Some beautiful flowers on the trellis. Let's go on inside. And this is what a victim of smallpox would have looked like. And here 
here's the pews where they probably would sit and pray for these folks. Original wood and some patch wood here. But I believe this is the original building here. Oh, they had people quarantined here with typhoid, diphtheria, scarlet fever, and smallpox. And how horrific that was. Deadly disease killed 30% of its adult victims and 80% of children. In the 20th century, it had killed 300 million people, equivalent to the population of the United States. Hmm. Smallpox became the only human infectious disease ever to have been eradicated. Survivors were Ended with pitted complexion, oh yeah, blindness, yeah. And nowadays we have flu. We've all been talking about that recently. Here's a mannequin of someone with smallpox. Such a sad, sad time that was for these poor people. I believe this is open. Yes, general store. Hi. Hello there. How, How are, are you, you folks good? today? Good. So glad we got here on a day that everything was open. It is. Yeah, on Sunday. That's uh, that's the day. Yeah, we've been here a couple of times, but not on the right day. <laughs> Well, Sunday uh, after or Sunday from ten to two is uh, the time when the buildings are open, unless it's uh, like the festival or other right. special days. So. This old wheelchair, look at Great that! Business. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Look at that cash register. That's the last ah. couple days. It's been that is neat. That is neat. Scale, so you can buy your flour and all your everything you need. Yeah. Getting a bathtub. I see. For Saturdays. At the end of the month. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even imagine that now, can we? No. That thing's neat. Old school. Yeah, now here's the, this is, this is a really interesting story about the truck. Mm -hmm. It originally was a delivery truck for a ritzy department store in New York City. Oh. On with Teller. Okay. And then it's been converted over the years and uh, mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a little bit outside the range of the period of the village. The period of the village, 1880. A little bit, yeah. But you know, but, you know hey. Donated it right, the right. Away. You got to gotta have it out here, sure. All right, we finished up talking with those folks at the general store here, and now we're making our way over to the church. Now the church we've been at, we came here at Christmas time. But we'll peek in there just because we're here. Donation boxes located everywhere. Like I said, they survive off that. Original stained glass. This was the front. Originally, they built the foyer when they restored it. It's just beautiful. After a bottle of wine, it's like in that in every spirit. Who I am, you and you are me. How is that not strange? Oh, I don't want to sit just to sit. But my healer told me your inner world will unfold. Just like that It's a fact That we Can't be foolish for too long I think I really Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous 
They did a great job. This had almost pretty much returned to earth when they discovered it. The bottom was completely gone. There was no floor. And they got it here. And they restored it and it's beautiful. Okay, Maple Ridge Farm, home of the Stimson family. This home is a replica, not an original. The original has had burnt, I believe in the 1960s. But this replica was built by photographs and what people in the family or surrounding area remember it looking like. So to the best of their knowledge, this is what it looked like. So let's go check it out. Chest of drawers, spring mattress, <laughs> beautiful homemade quilt accompanied by a bedpan. This would be the dining room. All ready to serve dinner. Old horseshoes. There's what they used for plowing the fields for the cows or horses, whichever they were using. Ice picks, hay baler. Hay. They probably filled this porch with rocking chairs and grandchildren. <laughs> So here is Detwiller House with a skeleton in the window. This is one of Corey's favorite exhibits. As you can see, it's in its original condition, built with rock foundation, rough timber. And some type of mud concoction, I would assume. Right now the walls are caving in. Right now you don't know where to begin. Right now you're searching high and low. And right now you don't know.
The name of the garden is Victory Gardens. It's got some uh, grapes or something ivy here growing on it. It's beautiful. Can't go all the way inside, but some beautiful flowers and plants. Alright, well that takes us around to the back side. Now we're going to head down to the school. If I can get the black flies to quit landing on me. <laughs> Started. I think it's time that we uh, go on over to the pavilion and uh, enjoy the last few minutes of the live music they have here. So let's go and check it out. I hope you've enjoyed your little tour, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Right now you're searching high and low. And right now you don't know where to go. Right now you hear the thud.